Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Baclou assembly. Despite being a drama teacher, I get really nervous about speaking on film, so please bear with me if I fluster any of my words at all this morning. I want to start firstly by saying thank you. You and young people across the country are making huge sacrifices at the moment to help to protect some of the most vulnerable people in our society. You do not go unseen and you do not go unappreciated. I'm well aware that most of you feel that you would be better off in school just now. I think that too. It's why we have schools. It's why we made them up. But it's just not possible at the moment. So we need to look at what we can do and what is within our control. Most of you are engaging really well in your remote learning. So keep going with it. And where things are tricky, try and power on through with that determination that we know that you have. We're also really thankful to the many parents who are helping to support you at home as well. Juggling all the usual stuff day to day in the house, their own full time jobs sometimes, maybe younger siblings and trying to help you out too. It does not go unseen. We recognise what everyone is doing. But the world is still out there. Even though we are within our houses and quite often probably within our bedrooms within those houses quite a lot, things are moving forward. I don't know if any of you were ever able to see any of the inauguration of the US President Joe Biden last week. But for me, one of the highlights of that ceremony was a young lady um, called Amanda, um, Amanda Gorman. And she is a poet and she had written a beautiful piece which had, well, I could use lots of quotations from it, but I'm going to stick to one. One of the things she said was this. There is always light. If only we're brave enough to see it. If only we're brave enough to be it. There is always light. If only we're brave enough to see it if only we're brave enough to be it. January is always tough, pandemic or no pandemic, and we have almost made it through. The days are getting longer. If you look outside, you can start to see some signs of trees coming back into leaf, flowers get blooming and so on. And the vaccination programme has started. Maybe some of you have family members who've already benefited from it. It won't always be like this. We won't always feel like this. We want to talk about helping you to help yourself. I know we tell you what to do all the time, but I absolutely promise if you listen to the advice that you are given, it does work. It really does. Have a routine each day. Get a structure. Look after yourself in terms of your sleep and your diet. Get outside. Stay in touch with your friends. Talk to people. Get away from the screen. I realise, of course, I'm speaking to you on a screen right now, but when you can, get away from a screen. If you haven't already done so, check out the PSE Google Classroom. There's a lot of good stuff on there. And there's also a really good mental health section on the website that will just help you to think about activities and tasks you can do that really look after your well-being. Remember, we are still here. We are still working. It feels really odd being in an office where it's completely silent roundabout instead of the usual buzz of the place. But we are still here. You can contact your PSL via the text service. I am going to have to read this number because I haven't learned it yet. 07795. 354432. That's 07795 354432. Or of course, they've got open show my homework tasks, so you can contact them in the comments there. And if your parents need to get in touch, again, we can still speak with them. The quickest way to do that is just by emailing the school office and a message will get passed on. So I want to move now to a special message for the BGE. S1 to S3, you are currently learning skills right now that most people don't learn until the senior phase. And that's if they manage it in the senior phase. Sometimes it's college or university or the workplace before they can do it. You're learning how to manage your time. You're learning how to juggle lots of different demands. You're learning how to focus in class without the class teacher constantly reminding you of that. So stay calm, do what you can, one step at a time. You've got lots of different subjects and lots of different teachers and it might feel overwhelming but if you stick with it and do one bit at a time you will get there and see if you're getting overwhelmed don't stick your head in the sand don't go into denial tell someone about it you've got people there to help you and for our seniors this is really stressful i get it it is Stress is caused by a situation where you feel like things are not in your control. And I know you have loads of questions right now about exams and assessment and SQA stuff. And you're used to us being able to answer those questions for you. And it feels really tough that we can't. But I absolutely promise you we're not keeping anything a secret. 
as new information comes out, we'll share it, we'll talk it through with you, we'll make sure that you guys feel clear about exactly what's expected of you. And trust your teachers in the meantime. They know what learning and teaching is needed for you to be able to overtake any of the things that are required from you. So hand in your assignments, ask questions if you're stuck, attend the live learning that you have the chance to, and trust us, keep going. So to everyone, we are really proud of our school community. You know how much I love my school. I bang on about it all the time. And we're really proud of the way that people are working together through a really tough situation. Because a school is not just a building. It's not just this office or the corridor outside or the dining hall or the playground. It's the people within it and the relationships. And they're not going to go away just because we're all physically separated for a while.